When you watch films about the African bush, this is what you normally see. A great wilderness with animals living free. But there's a growing dark side to this picture. Behind the splendor of these wild images lurks a new horror. Farming wild animals for the gun. And topping the hit list are predators, in particular lions. In South Africa today, the king of the jungle is king no more, as they now being virtually factory farmed and killed for money. And lions are not alone in this relentless treadmill. There are predators from all over the world being farmed in South Africa. Tigers, jaguars, panthers, wolves, and of course all the local cats like cheetah, leopard, and the smaller ones like servals and lynxes. Canned hunting is, is South Africa's dirty little secret. Um, and because of the money involved in the industry, they're, they're very good at keeping it quiet. Canned breeders and canned lion hunters have become very wise to, to not letting any new footage get out, of, get out there and to prevent film, people from filming on their farms. It's a secret world where the general public is not welcome at all. And looking at the images in this video, it becomes clear why they want this to remain hidden. Canned hunting is not just a single event where an animal is hunted. It's, it's an entire process where lion cubs are, are literally factory farmed and at birth they are ripped away from their mothers, which is extremely traumatic for the mothers and the cubs. Um, they are kept in wholly inadequate conditions. Um, obviously it's all about the bottom line, so space and good nutrition is not high on, on the list of priorities for lion breeder. Their entire lives are spent in anguish, uh, where they are physically and, and psychologically abused and, and treated as commodities as opposed to, to living sentient beings. Lions are bred and raised on these farms until they're old enough to be killed by trophy hunters. Some of these lions are quite tame, having lost their fear of humans completely. When they're grown enough to be shot, they're usually drugged and ripped from their enclosures and transported just a few kilometers away to one of the hundreds of hunting farms where they let loose and then shot. This lion is a prime example of what trophy hunters line up for. A large male with a fully grown mane. This poor animal is destined to end up on some trophy wall thousands of miles from where he was born. And this is how it happens. Food is usually put out for the lion that is to be shot. That helps the hunters because they all know where the lion will be, at the food. Notice the meat strung from the tree next to where the lion is lying. The body parts of these lions being killed get shipped halfway around the world, either as hunting trophies or more recently also for traditional medicines. People are now farming lions in captivity in South Africa to kill them at a young age to harvest their bones. Um, the bones are sent to Asia where they are used for traditional Asian medicine um, because of their similarity to tiger bones. Nobody can really tell the difference. Uh, so the whole captive breeding and, and canned hunting industry in South Africa has mushroomed out of control and, and is now really becoming an animal welfare nightmare. Wildlife breeders claim that their farms contribute to conservation by increasing the numbers of animals. However, nothing is further from the truth because there's no attempt at maintaining genetic integrity of any animal population. The breeding is quite indiscriminate because the animals are all bred simply to be killed. In South Africa at the moment, we probably have less than a thousand truly wild lions. We have 8,000 captive lions on breeding farms. The obvious and most logical solution would be to ban captive breeding. 
because of the risks that captive breeding poses to wild populations. It poses genetic risks, it poses disease risks, and it, there are serious um, safety issues that need to be considered with all of these breeding farms. So the solution is to ban captive breeding, full stop. The king of the jungle is the king no more. In South Africa, his wild splendor has been reduced to the status of a commodity. The African lion has joined the ranks of the millions of other animals all over the world who are raised simply for slaughter. <laughs>